Um, hello, my name is Kyle. Um, I'm in 11th grade, but I am 18, so I'm older than everyone else. So this is a porch that is attached to my room. But as of right now, this is one of my favorite places to be. Um, it's really peaceful out here. I feel really calm out here. Um, and it's in my home, and my home is my most important place to me in my life. Because I love my home, and also it's where my family is. I love my dogs, I love my family. This is my sister, Kara. She doesn't look her best right now. <laughs> I thought I looked good. Um, I have two other sisters, but they are not here. And they don't look their best right now either. <laughs> this is my mom. It's Hello. Mother's Day. This is my dad. Kenzie. This is Kenzie. She is knocking on Heaven's door. I board dogs and sit them. So this is Akela, who I'm boarding right now. This is Ollie. Hi, buddy. Ollie. Because I know we have no <laughs> No, but I, I'm just saying. <laughs> um, I love to read. Uh, I like the Harry Potter books, obviously. And, and I love music. I don't even... I love listening to all kinds of music. Um, I, like, I like listening to top 40 basic things. I think a lot of songs are really good. But I also like finding other songs. I was born in London, England, and I moved here when I was four um, to DC. My poem is called A Crazed Girl by William Butler Yeats. That crazed girl improvising her music, her poetry dancing upon the shore, her soul in division from itself Climbing, falling, she knows not where, hiding among the cargo of a steamship. Her kneecap broken, that girl I declare, a beautiful, lofty thing, or a thing heroically lo lost, heroically found. No matter what disaster occurred, she stood in desperate music wound, wound, wound. She made in her triumph, where the bales and the baskets lay, no common intelligible sound, but sang, O oh, sea starved, hungry sea. I think I really like it because it talks about music a lot. It says, she stood in desperate music wound, 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 and she made it in her triumph. And I kind of interpret that. I kind of thought that was saying that music helped her triumph, which I definitely feel that a lot, and I really connected with the poem because it definitely seems like she's been through something, and it kind of, in the beginning, she's saying she's improvising her music, her soul's in division, she's cl cl climbing, falling, she knew not where, and I feel like I've definitely been there where I've felt very lost, and I like, don't know what to do, and I'm kind of making it up as I go along. Um, and then it says her kneecap broken, which blows my mind that this is in a poem because I literally broke my kneecap and it was a very big event that set me back a lot of steps. And one line is heroically lost, heroically found, and I took that and I connect, I connect it to my family, my family being there for me through everything, and then, you know, obviously I wouldn't survive without them. Um, and the other part in the poem is music, which has helped me a ton, too. It says she, she sang, there was no common intelligible, intelligible sound, but she sang. You know, everything was not going well, and on, but music still helped and you had that at least, which I feel a lot. Stop eating that, oh my God, ew. Ollie, stop. <laughs>